Hi everyone, I'm starting this video again with an apology and um, you're probably going to be able to see why if I move that way. I have moved house and everything is in boxes still. Uh, work has been really busy so I haven't had a chance to properly unpack yet. And I'm off to Paris tomorrow morning. I can't find my main camera, my tripod. I have no internet, so I'm going to have to upload this video in the Eurostar Business Lounge um, in King's Cross tomorrow. So I'm going to try and make this a really snappy video. It's uh, some footage that I took with my nice camera, my um, Canon camera, a few weeks ago when we were having that lovely extended summer weather. I just wanted to show you very quickly this lovely little palette of nude shades from Avon. Anyway, yes, apologies because the bases video that I really wanted to film, I think I was being a bit ambitious thinking I'd be able to film it in my first few days in my new house. So I'm sorry about that. Um, work is just absolutely hectic. I'm in Paris for the rest of the week. So I'm just kind of getting on and filming this one so that you've got something to watch and with any luck normal service will be resumed next week so let's go and have a little look at the makeup that I recorded a few weeks ago. So I'm starting the video by applying NARS Tinted Moisturiser. I'm just smoothing that in and you know it doesn't offer a huge amount of coverage but it just gives that nice healthy tint and healthy glow and just evens out any redness you know you're not going to cover you're not going to cover spots and dark circles completely with a tinted moisturizer but it goes a nice long way to evening out the skin tone but you know I'm going to go into this more when I do the bases video finally um, and, and really talk about different coverages and, and maybe test a few out so you can see what I mean but anyway, that's me tinted moisturiser done. And then I'm using the Ambient Light Powder from Hourglass, which you'd have seen in the video that was how to look glowy but not oily, I think it was called. Uh, it's just a really, really beautiful powder that adds glow without adding any grease or oil. And, you know, it's, it's also got the effect of a powder but without mattifying or looking dry and cakey, so I love that one. And then I'm using uh, Dermalogica concealer which I've been using loads of lately because my circles, I think due to stress of moving and things like that, have just been really dark. And then just a quick brush over with the Honey Bronze bronzer from Body Shop which is a really lovely one. And then I'm using an eyeshadow palette from Avon which is a nude eyeshadow palette and I do think that it's really really useful to have, I know lots of people have the Urban Decay Naked one, um, there are loads of good ones out there. This one just happens to be really very affordable and I really like the texture of the eyeshadows. It's a good range of shades as well. I just think they're very, very useful if you want a no makeup makeup day and you just want to wash something across the lids that's nice and neutral. But actually with this one, I build it up and I do more of a smoky eye. So I'm just doing a base of the third shade in, which is like a yellowish neutral um, and I'm mixing that with the second one in and just giving myself a nice bright sheen to the lids and then using uh, the second from the right which is the darkest I'm taking that and I'm pushing that into the socket line and then really blending that out I'm using the Real Techniques deluxe crease brush to do that with as you can see and just buffing 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 I mean, it's pretty much how I always do um, a slightly smoky eye, really. Keeping it lovely and light across the inner and middle parts of the lids and then towards the outside, just graduating into a darker shadow. And then I'm taking the darker underneath and then again, buffing that out just to give definition around the eyes. It's just curling my lashes there quickly. And then I'm using the telescopic false lash mascara from L'Oreal. Um, which is just one of my staple products that I go back to again and again. Although there are a few mascaras recently that I think may have overtaken it. Um, I showed you the Chanel one last week, which I just think the colour on that, the khaki bronze, is amazing. And um, also the new little Clarins Be Long mascara I think is very good as well. So a couple of ones, it's kind of getting shifted off its throne really, this one. And then on the lips I'm using one of those Clarins 
balms, lip balms that have got the sponge applicator on the end. Can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it in the information box below. And a nice kind of pinkish nude on the nails, that's from Bourjois, that nail polish. And there we go with the finished look. It was just a quick one really to show you the Avon palettes that I really like. Uh, and also just to get a video to you this Friday because I'm really, really quite stuck for resources at the moment. But hopefully normal service will be resumed next week. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you check out my vlog channel and I shall see you next time.